Today I'm going to show you how to clean a new dive mask. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Olivia. I'm a professional scuba diver and this is Fully Submerged. I make a new video every week. So if you're interested in scuba tips, training and travel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in. All right, so your mask. We're gonna pretend like this is a new mask. It's not, but if you get a new mask, it comes in a case, something like this or some other case. You're gonna open it up, right? Usually there's a sticker of some sort on the lens. You wanna make sure you peel all the stickers off. Um, mine already has this mask strap. I mean, how many times have I talked about mask strap wrappers? Seemingly every single video, but seriously, 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 if you don't have one of these, get one. I can give you some tips on how to string this on a strap easier um, at the end of the video, but let's focus on actually cleaning the mask. So you'll take it out. We've taken all the stickers off. Now what you're going to do is you are going to take a toothpaste. I use the one that I just get from the dentist, just your regular standard white toothpaste. I'm gonna take some and I'm going to squeeze a little bit into each lens of the mask. Then I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to scrub. Really, really scrub. Like, just think of it this way, the more you do it, the more likely it is to work, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So really you just need this on the lens. You don't, you don't need it on any of the, the skirt, just the lens. A new mask comes with a film on the tempered glass just so that it stays safe in, in, um, while it's in the packaging. And if you have the mask like on display in the shop, it doesn't get discolored or anything like that. Um, so that's what's causing your mask to fog up and what we're like wiping off. So I am not being shy on the scrubbing. I'm, I'm really, really, really taking my time to scrub at this. So once I've done that for a while, I'm gonna turn the water on and then rinse it off. Okay, so I still have a little bit of toothpaste down here. Okay, so now all the toothpaste is scrubbed off. And then usually I just do that a couple more times, like honestly three to five times. It's how many times I'll do that because like I said, the more you do it, the more likely it is to get all that film off. Then your mask should be pretty well good to go, but I usually just cap this. And then I always keep my mask in the travel case. That way it can't get crushed um, with all my other scuba gear in the bag or anything, but I will literally throw the toothpaste into my box with my mask. So that is that. Now I'm going to show you how to thread your mask strap wrapper on your mask. So we're going to use a different mask. So I can show you. Here's another type style of mask box. And looky there, I have toothpaste. So I'm going to unthread this. So you have the strap and the wrapper, and then there's these two little, like the flap holders. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna call those. Um, but I am going to take this one off. When you look at this, you can see that there's one side that's bigger and one side that's smaller. So when you pull it off, make sure you keep track of which direction this was facing if you have one that has two different sizes. So the larger gap was on the bottom. So I'm gonna make sure I remember that. I'll of course have this one for reference if I need to, but the large slot was on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take the ruler and put it along 
the edge of the mask strap and then I'm just going to tape this down. Okay. Then I'm going to make sure that you think about that this, this is the outside of the strap, right? So that is the inside where your head's going to go. That's the outside. So you want to make sure you're sliding this on so that it's facing the right way. So for this, it's just going to be like this. You'll open up the little gap, slide the ruler in, and that makes it so that you have something to pull that strap right on over. That with, and then you can just take the tape off and pull. Does that make sense? Now you're threaded, and then you'll want to put your little clip back on, and then you're going to thread it back onto the mask. Now this mask has a really easy threading process. It's just literally underneath, and then that's it. It just goes through this next. Some masks have more complicated threading processes though. So what you can do is leave this side on your mask, only detach this side, and then do the ruler just like I did before. That way you still have the other side to reference how it went through. But now your mask strap is attached, your mask lens is clean, and you should be ready to dive. I suppose I could show you your snorkel too if you're going to be diving with a snorkel. Um, remember that your snorkel um, always goes on the left and that is because your reg is on the right. So this one just has a simple clip like this. Basically a snorkel is going to get caught entangled in your hair no matter what in my experience. So that's just the clip down here. I kind of pull it out and then slid both of those straps into the clip. And now my snorkel is on the left because my rag would be on the right. And you are ready to go. All right, so now I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how you can keep your mask from fogging up while you're diving. So tip number one is to keep your mask on your face, okay? Whenever you take that mask off your face, your mask needs to be defogged, okay? It's not a one and done kind of a thing. You have to defog your mask before every single dive or every time that mask comes off your face, you need to defog it. So if you defog it once, put it on your face and don't wanna have to defog it again, keep it on your face. Tip number two is don't wear your mask on your forehead. One of the places heat escapes your body is through your head. So if you take that mask off and you set it on your forehead, all that warm air is going to make your mask fog up again. So don't put it on your forehead. Keep it on your face. I have another video where I talk about not putting your mask on your head, so if you wanna know more reasons why that's one of my biggest scuba pet peeves, you can check that video out to see. Number three is don't breathe out your nose. So when you breathe out your nose, that's a bunch of hot air, right? So if you breathe out your nose, you're going to fog that mask up. Make sure you're breathing out of your mouth. So keep your mask on your face. Don't put it on your forehead. Don't breathe out your nose and you should be good to go. As long as you got that initial defog taken care of, um, then you shouldn't have a problem with fogging throughout your dive. Now, mask defogs. So I know there's a lot of different brands that make that mask defog. All of those typically work really well. You can also use spit, or you can make your own mask defog using um, baby shampoo. And we specifically say baby shampoo because uh, it's tearless. So if you do get a little bit in your eye, um, then it won't make your eyes burn. So I have one of these little tiny like travel spray bottles. Oh, there's still water in there. <laughs> okay, I have one of these little like travel spray bottles um, and oftentimes what I'll do to make my defog be spray rather than squirt on um, is I'll fill it with a little bit of baby shampoo and then the rest water. Shake it up real good till it's all mixed and then I can just spray that defog on my mask, rub it in, rinse it off, put it on my face. Um, 
just makes for a different and easier application method, but you can also just use the gels or use baby shampoo straight. Even better option is to go with something that is reef safe. Yeah, are we feeling good about masks? You know how to clean a new mask. You know how to thread a mask strap wrapper on a mask. And you know how to defog a mask and keep it defogged. Yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you made it this far, as I always say, uh, subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram at fully submerged scuba. And thanks so much for watching. Until we dive again, bye. If you're wondering what this is, that is my soap dispenser. One thing to know about me is I am quite obsessed with skeletons and skulls. Um, so this is actually a Crystal Skull Vodka bottle. And I'm not really into drinking. I'm not a huge alcohol person. Um, but I somehow managed to get through this bottle with some help, I'm sure. So that I could literally just use it for a soap dispenser. I uh, bought this on Amazon. The little tube was too long, so I cut it to length. It literally just sits like that. And that's my soap. Now, you didn't come here for a soap tutorial. You came here for a mass tutorial, so shut up, Olivia. <laughs> Remember how I talked about how I'm obsessed with skulls and skeletons? Bingo. <laughs> and what a shock, another skull. Oh, almost hit the camera. My hand-eye coordination is not good. I don't know why I'm choosing to do this. <laughs> I defogged it too good. It's not fogging up. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you didn't believe me that the toothpaste work, here you go.